guess what day it is? Hey, boy, So before you guys go judging, I know I fumbled on a couple of my words, but I didn't want to make the video over again. So I hope you all still enjoy. Hey Delight Stall, it's Sukensia from Delightful Minks and today is Mink Monday. So if you've been following me, you already know that Mink Monday is catered to giving you guys tips and tricks on how to keep and maintain your natural and eyelash extension. On today's Meek Monday, we'll be talking about lash aftercare. Now, there, if you scroll down, if you look a couple of videos, well, three, two, whichever, there's a, I made a video already about lash aftercare, but I updated my aftercare cards, aftercare instruction cards. So I just wanted to give you guys an updated information on lash aftercare. So if you follow me on Instagram or on Twitter, you will see my new aftercare cards. And this is kind of how they look like right here and right here. They're really cute. I like it. I did a good job. Like, yes, I did them by myself. Did a good job. Hard work and dedication will get you anything that you want. Period. <laughs> so. Lash aftercare instructions. The first one on the list is be gentle, be gentle with your lashes, avoid pulling. A lot of people, when they get eyelash extensions, they forget that they actually have them on because they're so lightweight. So, number one thing to remember is to be gentle with them. Just don't pull on, pull on them. Don't. I know there's some people who have habits of pulling on their lashes. Try not to pull on your lashes because when you pull on an actual lash extension, you will pull on your natural lash and in turn you will pull it out of its pore and you will damage it so try to be gentle with them and avoid pulling the second thing on the care card is cleanse as possible as often now some people feel like when you get eyelash extensions you can't wash your face you can wash your face you can definitely wash your face um i would recommend washing your face like full on and between the first 28 to 48 hours um only because you just don't want to get too much moisture on the glue which is still setting in but um you do actually have to cleanse your lashes your lashes is like hair your lashes is hair duh your lashes is hair so just like you wash the hair on your head you have to cleanse your lashes your lashes can um accumulate dandruff um, there's such thing called lash mites. If you don't believe me, look it up. And that in turn can um, cause you to have like flaky, flaky substance, substance within your lashes. Um, it can fall out faster because you have all that residue that's in there, especially if you wear makeup. If you wear makeup, cleansing your lashes is definitely something that you have to do. Like you don't want all that gunk and stuff to like accumulate and build up and then they all fall out all at once and it's like yo i just got my lashes done well you didn't cleanse them so definitely cleanse your lashes that's two number three avoid high heat and steam which can distort lashes this goes back to washing your face or even taking a hot shower going to a sauna right after getting your lashes done again there is a chemical in the glue if you haven't known already that's called cyanoacrylate cyanoacrylate works based off of moisture too much moisture your lashes will fall off so if you just left my lash bed and you want to go work out i wouldn't recommend you going to the sauna i wouldn't recommend you do a high workout because if your lashes are still setting in that moisture that's coming towards you know your face boom the next day you see your lashes are all gone like i just got my lashes done why are they all gone because you let too much moisture in your face that steam that hotness all of that is going to cause them lashes to fall out because of the, the the ingredient in the glue that works off of moisture if you didn't know that already just a little science tip um that was number three number four use use oil-free makeup remover around eye area um reason being when oil 
accumulates to your lashes when that oil and that glue mix meets sorry when that oil and that glue meets cause your lashes to fall off so if you're like if you're the type of person who wears eyeliner or bottom mascara which you shouldn't which you shouldn't or just eyeshadow when you're removing it use oil free makeup remover i recommend you also cleanse your lashes in the process as well um i do sell eyelash cleansers so if any one of my followers or clients would like to purchase you know where to find me <laughs> also that was number four number five again avoid any use of mascara on lash extensions that mascara big no no like that emoji like no no mascara on lash extensions that will only cause them to clump up fall off look ugly nasty ill mascara the reason why you got lash extensions is because you were tired of mascara right so therefore don't put mascara on lash extensions if you're going to go get your makeup done and your um makeup artist was like oh can i put some mascara no tell her no no and if you want a fuller look well i'm sorry baby dumb lashes when you come back to me and they all messed up and jacked up and i have to charge you for a full set that's why do not put mascara on your lashes please 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 they look too pretty don't put mascara on them mascara will only ruin them so that was one two three four five six okay number six i don't think some people know this but it, it it's definitely something you should take in consideration when you get your lashes done sleep on back or side to avoid crushing your lashes in other words sleep pretty um i don't know about y'all but when i was like in grade school even up into college whenever i would get my hair done i would be sleeping like this like this like this like i would sleep everywhere any way possible so i wouldn't mess up my hair so it's kind of the same way with your lashes when you first get them done try not to sleep on your face try to sleep on your side on your back or um you know sleep in a way where your lashes aren't like crushing your pillow especially if you have a cotton pillowcase if you have a satin pillowcase that's better because you know the satin will kind of like keep them alive and keep them fresh just like your hair when you have satin caps so please when you get your lashes done sleep on your side or on your back you know just sleep pretty so they'll look beautiful when you wake up and if they still look like they throwing gang signs when you first wake up all you gotta do is just brush them out you know brush them out and they're back to normal <laughs> and the last one to keep your lashes full and nice please be sure to schedule your refill two to four weeks um i talked about refills in my last video but to keep them nice and pretty and full and like oh my god your lashes are pretty schedule your refill come on in and get them done like lashes are a luxury they're a luxury so you must keep them in the luxurious way that they are so i think that's it for today's meet monday i hope you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and like and subscribe and hit that bell button to get notifications when i upload my videos um i hope you all are obtaining a pleasant blink with delightful minks and see you all next Monday. Bye.